Hello and welcome back to the course on Power BI. In today's tutorial, we're going to finally create our business intelligence report. In fact, it's going to be an interactive business intelligence report. So we're going to put together these five elements that we've created in the previous tutorials. We've created a map uh, with an indicator or with a card at the top. We've created a pie chart for gender. We've created a, a distribution for age, a distribution for balance, and we've created um, a tree map for job classification. So let's go ahead and create our uh, BI uh, report. All right, so how are we going to put them together? So the beauty of um, Power BI is that we can just simply copy these um, visualizations onto a, a new page. So I'm going to select this, hold down Control, select this, then press Control C on my keyboard, press Control V and it'll be copied over. And they're completely independent. So if I change this one, uh, this one won't change and the other way around. So basically, if I want to make changes here, I'm free to do so and I will always have this backup over here. And also, don't forget to save your work by pressing Control S. Here, we've got gender. Going to copy that as well. Put it here somewhere. Um, then we've got the age distribution. Copy that as well. Put it here. We'll adjust all of this in a second. Then we've got balance. Copy it here. So this is the beauty of preparing everything in advance. There is minimal problems further down. You just need to copy these things. All right, so all of that has been copied. Now it's about putting it all together so it looks very nice on one sheet and also take into account the size of the screens that you want to prepare this for and um, if these reports are going to be viewed on uh, desktop, on mobile, or uh or if they're going to be viewed on desktop screens or laptops or um, Power BI is also available for iPads. So maybe uh, if people or the executives are going to be viewing this report on iPads, you might want to make this canvas a little bit smaller or something like that. So it's about experimentation and testing these things out. Uh, but now at this stage, what we want to do is we want to actually... Um, uh, first of all, just we're going to use this size canvas and we're going to line up everything. Now, you'll notice that it's a bit hard to line things up because they're kind of like free-flowing. There's no, there's no grid lines, no guidelines here. And also, you may have noticed that throughout this section, I have a new tab at the top, which is called View. Now, this is something new in uh, one of the uh, later versions of Power BI. Maybe in your version, so if you're watching this video even later, it might be here by default. But if you don't have it right now, then what you can do is you can click this drop down, uh, go into options, go into options here, and here just go down to updates, oh, not updates, go into preview features. And here it says the following features are available for you to try in this release. Preview features might change or be removed in future releases. So for now, we have the ability to uh, enable uh, grid lines and uh, snap to grid. So go ahead and check this box. Click OK. You might uh, have to restart Power BI to do that. So just save your work, restart, and come back to this uh, visualization. And then you'll be able to show grid lines. So you can see these grid lines appear uh, at the back of your uh, canvas. And also, you can snap objects to grid. That will allow you to have more control of... Um, so less freedom, but at the same time, uh, more control of how you're placing these visualizations so that they are actually lined up very nicely. All right, so now you, it's very easy to tell the width that you want. For example, here you might want to snap it to that level and then to this one as well, to that level, the same thing. And then you can maybe increase it up to there. All right, and then this one goes in here very nicely. It's very uh, easy to uh, line them up like this when you have uh, these grid lines over there. So now again, let's line this one up. Scroll down. Let's see up to where maybe this one should be a bit higher, I think. Uh-huh. That's good. And as you can see, the percentage is lined up very nicely over here. Uh, then let's take this and line it up, up over here. It, it does take some work, some manual 
uh, editing, but it's going to be worth it in the end. So maybe this needs to go up to the same level as this. Yep. And finally, the final chart goes into the one up. There we go. All right, so our visualization is pretty much ready. Uh, the last things that we would like to uh, probably change are these labels and the colors. So let's start with a region and region here. So if you go here, we, we want to keep the legend. We don't want to keep the title. And the same thing here. So uh, here, um, do we want to keep the title? We, we, we do, but we don't want we would want to change it so it would say uh, distribution by age and then here uh, also make it a more intuitive title we'll call it uh, distribution by balance this one title uh, we'll call it um, job classification and here uh, we'll call this one uh, gender. All right, so that's our title. And in terms of colors, even though we worked on the colors as we were creating these individual uh, pages and they seem to be okay, in this case, it doesn't look like the colors work well together. And you can tell just by looking at it that this is a bit it stands out, this stands out, and maybe some of the colors here are not ideal. So I suggest the following approach. I'm going to end this tutorial now, and I'm going to play around with the colors on uh, my side, and then you'll see the final result, the colors I pick um, in the next tutorial. Uh, whereas you can also do that, you can also uh, try to fix up your colors, or you can just proceed to the next tutorial and see the ones I used. It just takes some time, and usually it's quite a lengthy process picking up the, uh, out the colors, and I I wouldn't want to make you wait uh, through this painful exercise. So on that note, I'm going to end this tutorial. I look forward to seeing you next time. And until then, happy analyzing.